rising sun, watching the dawn come of the long darkness, was a gift from God. I lay in the sand, the society blowing green and golden particles into the wind. I slowly began to sit up, the sand falling off me as I stapled myself. Watching my beautiful city come back into light, after a long and endless night, I coughed out some of the dirt. I got on my mouth over the night. I looked down at my pale skin. It turned greyish and mooted, mutilated. I looked up and saw the orange sun, why it shine its light down across all the land. I vanished the shadows I saw skeletons lay all around. So I leant over its buildings. Others still had rotten flesh on them. Similar to how mine had been slowly turning from brown to grey. I swallowed thirstily. I wanted to sit up, but my legs were not working. They too had been destroyed when a giant ball of light spread all around us, left us with nothing but remains of dust and darkness. The sky had become so cloudy. The following days, after it had no light been able to shine through them, the black ashy clouds, not allowing anything to break through. I covered my dry mouth as I coughed. We just saw red blood which sprinkled on my hand after it. I looked around for any sign of anyone who could help. All that surrounded me was a desert and dusty, decaying buildings. I took a few deep breaths. In and out, I needed someone to be with me. On the day that I would die, someone to sit with me and suffer my agony. So I could feel I wasn't alone. But the truth was, I I was. I was the last one alive on earth. I stayed in a bunker, but it didn't protect me. Instead, it had been blown away like everything else. All I had now was myself. Last person on earth. How now did I realise just how terrible the thought was, considering I'm not going to survive for much longer? Nuclear bomb hit us. Nuclear bombs have collided into all the countries around the world, wiping men off the face of the earth in only five days. Now I was the sole survivor that once was human race. I could not f- run the race much longer. I just felt my consciousness sway and my body feeling weak. I lay back down on the hot sand and looked up to the hell hellish cloudy sky. I choked out a laugh. A weak, feeble laugh, as I found not all funny, all so funny, all so amusing that I survived everyone else. I was the one that pushed the button first.